I'm sorry, Ron here isn't here to share these with me. I promise to save him at least one, but he is on a special trip to visit with some cool kids. Ron is at St. James Catholic School in Sewickley for a classroom weather visit. Hey, Ron. Hey, yeah, you better save me at least one, maybe two. Three, if you're nice, that would be nice. Let's talk about what's going on here. We are having some fun. I'm with uh, the music instructor, Mr. Levicki. Uh, let me tell. Let's talk about. We're about to get some some singing going on here. Correct. How are the kids? Are they ready? What what, what are we going to hear here? Uh, we're going to do the just the refrain of a song we use for one of the school masses. It's called "Go Make a Difference." Go make a difference. Okay, we're obviously out in the Sewickley area right now, St. James Catholic School. Um, and we're doing a school visit. We've been talking just a little bit kind of behind the scenes, Heather. Uh, let's listen to this song real quick, and then I'll get into your forecast. And I'm going to get back to talking to these kids about uh, kind of forecasting and some of the things that, that we get to do every day. You can take it away right okay. now. All right. You, you ladies ready? All right. Here we go. This is going to be fun. We're ready. All right, now I gotta ask you ladies, how did you guys get selected? First off, what's your name? Michaela William. Michaela? Hannah Weber. Hannah? Sophie Feldhues. Sophie? Marina Dinano. And what grades are all of you? Sixth grade. Sixth grade. Sixth grade. Sixth grade. Oh, there's a common theme right there. How did you guys get selected to be up front here? Um, we kind of just volunteered. Okay, all right, all right. Oh. Um, is that, um, tell us a little bit about that song. How much have you guys been practicing for that? And was it just, uh, was it mainly for um, for this visit, or is this something you've been kind of preparing something else for? Mm, just for this visit. Just for this visit? Okay. Well, I appreciate that very much. It was really nice. We're going to be talking and uh, with the kids here, and really, you can see most of the school is actually here, so it goes all the way up to eighth grade. Um, and we're going to be talking to them about uh, what's going on with the weather coming up in just a bit. Speaking of weather, we're going to tell you what's happening with the weather right now. I know we're on Max 1 and just, just kind of showing you uh, the gorgeous start to the day. Temperatures are going to be really warming up fairly quickly today. It's going to be another fantastic one. If you loved yesterday, probably even better. Uh, yesterday we hit 68 for a high. We're looking at a high of 77 today. You see those current temperatures right there, including temperatures starting to warm up pretty quickly. Had a widespread of temperatures this morning, but uh, starting to see at least those temperatures coming a little bit back and better into focus. Radar showing it dry locally. We do still have that area of high pressure that's going to keep those skies nice and blue for us. Keep humidity levels way down as well as what we're looking at. Overall, when you're looking at the uh, seven day outlook, we're looking at temperatures slowly warming up still. In fact, on Wednesday, just shy of 80 degrees, our next chance for rain is going to come in on Thursday. Better chance for rain also on Friday. The weekend is looking fantastic. And Heather, I know you were talking to the marathoners. Uh, the Pittsburgh Marathon is this weekend and it is looking simply great as well. We're looking at a high temperature probably both days, right around the 70 degree mark and a little bit cooler on Sunday. Low humidity levels. I know someone on uh, the social media, on social media yesterday asked me, any chance for thunderstorms? It looks like thunderstorms are out and bitter heat is out. Should be pretty good uh, conditions for those runners out there. Hey, we'll see you in 30 minutes in just a little bit and uh, talk a little bit more about what's going on here at St. James and I'll show you the cake that I'm bringing back to you.